welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing how to properly prepare a rabbit. And no, I don't have a rabbit with me right now. She's in her ex-pen and the bedding is blocking her entrance. So, today I'm going to be doing how to properly take care of a rabbit. I don't even know if I said that, but yeah. So I was watching some videos, my first rabbit, someone went shopping, cages, hutches. I don't really like those. And your rabbit shouldn't look outside anyways, anyway, but we'll look at that. Um, we'll probably make a couple parts. Um, yeah. So, the first thing is cage. You shouldn't have a cage with your rabbit. Let me explain why. I know I'm going to get some dislikes in this video because people are like, oh, I, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, um, you shouldn't have a cage because rabbits domestic can run up 25 to 45 miles an hour, which is fast. And if you have them in something the size of this bin that Dimitri is living in, they can't go that fast. Um, so, yeah. And wire bottoms. A lot of people have hutches outside, which is so bad. And inside, which is also so bad. And most of them are wire bottoms. That is because breeding, that was the, that was the only thing they had. To, apparently, for the bottom, I guess I had one centimeter by centimeter wish, but yeah. Anyways. And the reason why is because they don't have padding like, say, Dimitri does, or dogs or cats, so they get sores on the bottom of their feet. It's not, I don't believe it's known as bumblefoot like these animals and hamsters and things like that, but it does, it's really painful for them. Also, um, people will probably yell at me because my rabbit's lonely. Rabbits do not need to be in pairs, you guys. If you socialize with them enough with other animals, such as guinea pigs, which they can uh, be friends. My rabbit actually loves this guy, and he loves her. Anyways, it uh, they don't need to be in pairs. It's not essential like guinea pigs. My guinea pigs are in pairs, except for him. But he did get in after. Anyways, um... But, that doesn't, I know I'm going to get yelled at because I keep my rabbit alone. We're going to try to get her a friend. We don't even know because we have to spike her on either of those. We don't even know if she's a 100% girl. We're like 99% sure she's a girl, but we're, anyway, continuing. Next, food. A lot of people feed just strict pellets. Can't wait to die them. So for baby rabbits, which is what you're usually getting at the pet store or a breeder, which you shouldn't get from pet stores. Breeders are okay if they're local. Oh, also, no, this isn't for my rabbit. This is for the baby guinea pigs when I have them and Dimitri. Because Dimitri is still a baby. He's under six months. Um, sorry. Anyways, um, Timothy, Orchard, Oat, all of those. These four are okay, let me read them off. Botanical hay, oat hay, orchard grass, and western timothy. Those are really good choices. I have orchard grass for my guinea pigs and my rabbits. My rabbits um, litter box is empty because I forgot it's freaking. Anyway, and they need high fiber and high quality pellets if you're going to give them pellets. You don't have to. Um, I, we feed my rabbit Neutrina, that was a 40 pound bag, you can get that at Brennings, which is where we got her, and yes, we got her from the um, Brennings. Brennings isn't a pet store, Brennings, at least my Brennings, they get from local breeders. Anyway, and they have Neutrina, and that is a 40 pound bag for I think 11 or 13 or 11 dollars. So, yeah, and that's not that, that from $10. I mean, I've had that bag for over two months, maybe. So, and you don't want to get KT or small world. The only reason I have small world or a big is because 
trust is prime closed, not going to get hospital. You should always get hospital for guinea pigs. Um, you can get hospital for bobbins, except it's really expensive, way more expensive than Nutria. Nutria is, I think, is 15, no, I think it's I don't know, I think it's like 12% fiber. I don't remember, because I need a really high, I don't, I don't remember, anyway. And they need, like I said, one of these four hays. And yeah, and they need veggies 100%. Um, I feed my mostly romaine lettuce. I do feed fruits occasionally, not all the time. You can give them um, alfalfa as a small treat. You don't want to give them in huge quantities. You can give this much at the most. You don't want to give any more than that. And let's see. Talk about proper size for the enclosure or room or entire house. No. Um, the smallest you can have for one rabbit is eight square feet. That is the smallest. My ex pen is 18, 18, 16 square feet, which is enough for two. You should always double the amount you have before. So if I were to get three rabbits, I have to get another ex pen. Talk about shoes. I don't even know if I can get this out. I doubt it. Yeah. So rabbits, let me just show you. You can use those Oxbow Timothy Timbells. You can use something like that, which is literally a bird toy from Walmart. Oh hi. So yeah. That's a bird toy from Walmart. And she does love it the bow, put the shoe on it, um, yeah, let's see, see something they should not have, definitely shouldn't have any soft plastics like this near them, um, maybe they shouldn't have, if they start biting on their x bars, you can go, you can either rub them out or just switch to 100% free roaming. At least no free. I wouldn't really, really recommend free roaming in a room though. I do do that. I did used to do that. But she was kind of ripping everything apart and things like that. So we switched to the X10, which is the alternative. If you can't provide your rabbit with at least a room or half a room, Make sure to get your oven X Pen. X Pen is a great solution to that. I know some people have their rabbits in an entire room. Some people even have the rabbits in a an apartment or a house. Um, trying to see it. Um, yeah. Now let's talk about bedding. So, yeah. Um, the only wood you can use for a rabbit is acid. That is because acid is a safe wood. Doesn't have any toxins. You could also use paper. Paper I would recommend for guinea pigs or rabbits because it'll it traps in the ammonia and everything and it makes it smell really good. Yeah. The only reason you would need to use paper is if you just got your rabbit spayed or neutered. That's the only really reason or place I would recommend it. Um, see, let's talk about spaying and neutering now. Rabbits, if you want to get them a friend, you must spay or neuter them. Spaying, there's a difference between spaying and neutering. Spaying is taking out the ovaries, and neutering is, this is going to sound weird, considering I'm really young, taking off the testicles. Like I said, it's weird, but it has to happen. Also, if you hear a whirring, I don't know how I didn't address this. I'm just guessing. If you hear a whirring, that is the fan because it's currently like 84 degrees outside. It's hot. Let's see. Let's talk about watering. Oh my god, how did I not? Okay, wait, no. After spaying. Let's see. Watering. Or er, staying neutering. If your vet tells you to withdraw from food, don't go with that vet. 
because rabbits need to eat 24-7. They, if you want in more detail about spay and neutering, there I will link a video below. It is, God bless it, Lem the Bunny, um, spay and neutering thing. And no, she's not asking me to do this. She's not telling me she doesn't know me. But yeah. And let's see, now let's talk about water. Something, okay. You should never give your rabbits a water bottle. Never give them this because it'll, they're at risk of dehydration. And I have a 27 gallon water jug. And even that, it's, it can not last a while, but it's okay. Um, yeah, you never ever want to use this. Mainly because, like I said, risk of dehydration doesn't really come out that easily, at least with this water bottle. I know some water bottles do come out easily. What are you doing? I'm going to put them back in. I could just let her out for now. Said they need <laughs> rabbits need at least four to eight hours of exercise a day. So she's coming out. Come here. Come on. Come here. You're gonna hate me. If it's at least big enough to hold or to, you know, have your rabbit in it. Hay is an important thing to me, but hay in there it helps him digest. Um, you need to clean it out once a day. And I know you might not go through a lot of um, bedding through that. Right, okay, yeah, she hates me now. Um, but. Let's go back to the pellets really quick. I forgot on chain. A fourth of a cup per five pound rabbit. So, anyways, now let's talk about bunny proof thing. That is a big thing. If your rabbit is destructive, you're going to have to spend a, a hot penny. And if you're not up for taking care of a rabbit this much, then you shouldn't be owning it. Because if you're like, oh, I can't afford to grab it. I can't afford to bunny proof it. Then don't. Own it. If you can't afford to feed it, if you can't afford to give a bear cage, do not own it. That's what I say all the time about hamsters and everything. If you can't afford the pet, or if you can't afford the pet, don't buy it. So, if you can't afford, say, uh, for a hamster, if you can't afford, uh, a, a big cage and you can only quote afford a, a tiny tails or a critter trail you should be getting it because if you don't know you can make a bin cage for I don't even know let me think $30 at the most including bedding and everything like that it's not hard Right? Right? Um, let's see.
You have to hold it tight or else it feels if you do this it'll squirm away. And I'll let her go so she wants it. Um, yeah. So let's see, maybe she'll want to go back in her and do you want this? Do you want your toy? So this is what I was talking about. This I don't even remember how much this was. I didn't look at the price. But we got it at Petco today and she hopes she really likes it. Successfully gone behind me. Let's say one thing. Friction. If you have a hardwood or tile, you will need simple rugs like this. This is only I think of a dollar forty nine at Walmart, and then you can get these for I think. There's two fifty for a yard and a half of place. So and my pastor just texted me. So in the middle of making a video, thank you. Thank you. I shouldn't have bought this one on the second. It's having fun. Ignore the mess by the way. I need to continue with this. Um let me think. Yeah, so you can get easily. And also one thing about the litter box, when you get to that, they should have something under it, so that when they hop up in it, it can scratch their nails, and also give them friction to jump up in it and jump out. I don't talk about nails on that topic. You need to clip your rabbit's nails about, I think, once a month, um, if not more. And never bathe your rabbits. I just thought this. Never bathe your rabbits because it can send them into catatonic, a catatonic state, and it can get to put them in shock, and it can even kill them from shock. So you never want to do that. The only animal that I have that you can, and the only animal that I have that you can bathe is guinea pigs and a ferret, and ducks. So like small animals. You should never have anything like that for a rabbit. Because, like I said, it will stress them out to point of no return. I don't. But, anyways. Um, let me think. No, I don't have any more topics to. Ooh! Oh, no. Love me. Harnesses! This clip just broke off. <coughs> So, if you're going to get a harness for a rabbit, make sure it's big enough. This is not even close to big enough for my rabbit. So, let's have a bell. Um, you, I, if you have a baby rabbit, maybe this can fit. But, my rabbit's almost an adult. <laughs> and this isn't fitter at all. It doesn't even feel like anything. Like, it doesn't even fit them too big. But, and you should do that. Anyways. On getting paid, so it's just pissing out, you know. Anyway, I think that's all we can cover right now. If I think of some, I'll either post a cleaning tab or something like that. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I got a notification bell so you miss, never miss another video. Bye.